All right, so uh, another important aspect that in the beginning seems a little bit dry, but is very important, are taxonomies, which is the, uh, the fancy word just for organization. Um, particularly, when we start off here, we're going to talk about organizing our blog posts. If you're going to be, for example, selling products, that definitely needs organization. Right? You might be selling your paintings, but maybe some are in a style of oil paintings and some are in watercolor and some are in whatever. You want to sell those in different categories. Organization. So let's talk about organization with related to posts. We'll have a whole lesson on this later when we talk about actually blogging and blogging advice and all of that. But we've got uh, the ability to blog on our website uh, under our posts um, link here. Let's click all posts. I think we've only got one or two posts. The one we did on the first day and then that default one. So what we'll do here is uh, before we write a post, uh, let's go over here to the categories section under posts. Categories are ways to organize your posts. So let's say uh, my website is, is going to be this is going to be Victor's Bakery, and I'm going to blog every month, once a month, uh, about something. So when we get to the lesson about blogging, we'll talk about this more in detail, but basically every website can have a blog. Uh, so you think, well, the bakery, what are you going to blog about? Now, this client over here, they've got a blog. They're a Mexican food restaurant. You think, how can a restaurant, a Mexican food restaurant, have a blog? What are they going to write about? So what we've written for them on the blog section is um, like to educate people because the restaurant sells a beverage called pulque. So if you're if you're if you're old enough, do you know what pulque is? It's an alcoholic beverage uh, made from that plant right there. It's the maguey plant, which looks like the agave plant. Does anyone know? And if you're old enough, how, uh, what does the agave plant graduate to be? Tequila. Okay, so the maguey plant, the maguey plant, that one becomes pulque. So this restaurant sells it. I never heard of pulque before. So there's a blog post here that tells you about that. That pulque is hundreds of years old, and that it's offered at the restaurant. A blog post about when Andrew Zimmern came to San Diego and the restaurant made it in his top five moments in San Diego. So there's a few pages of blog posts. Most of them are educational that craft beer is on tap at the restaurant. What is barbacoa de borrego? There's a post on that. There's posts on these uh, aguas frescas, you know, those sorts of classic beverages. So this site uses the blog to educate people on what they serve. So when we get to our blog section, our blog assignment, we'll brainstorm a little bit more about your particular needs, but every site should be able to do some sort of blogging and if you want a goal I would say one new blog post once a month 100 words so to start off that's a very good goal write 100 words once a month and now you're a blogger the point of blogging is that also helps our SEO that helps the search engines determine that you're putting out good relevant interesting timely content and when someone searches for pulque, they might find you. And actually, that's what this site uh, has. If, if people do a Google search for pulque, oftentimes this restaurant appears on the first page of results because this blog post that we wrote for them um, shows up on the hits on the results page. So that's why we would be blogging. In order for this to really work, though, we need to organize, and that's what categories are about. Maybe right now you don't really have a lot of idea just yet, but I'll give you my example. So I'm doing this website, Victor's Bakery, and every month I'm going to write a blog post about the, um, the cake of the month. And it's going to be a 100-word blog post about maybe where the recipe came from, some history on the recipe, that sort of thing. And every other once in a while, maybe every two months, every three months, I don't know, I'll write also a blog post as a um, uh, as a profile of one of our uh, one of our employees, you know, all about John the baker or, or whoever. So 
Those are two categories of blog posts that I'm going to be publishing. One about the, 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 the cake of the month and one about the employee of the quarter. So here, under this categories, let's think about one or two categories of what you could be blogging about. So if you don't have an idea, you can do what I'm going to do, but um, like I said, I'm going to make a category called Cake of the Month. So every time I write a new blog post about a cake, I will put it in the Cake of the Month category. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But I'm going to create the category and then click Add New Category. So it tells me I've got that category. And at the moment, I don't have any posts in that category yet. It says count zero. I'm also going to do an employee of the quarter. So think about one or two, maybe three categories of things you could be blogging about. If you don't. Uh, no, specifically it's about the categories of those updates. So I'm going to be updating once a month about a new cake, and I'll put it into that category. And once every three months, I'm going to put an update about a particular good employee, so I'll put her in the employee of the quarter category. Sometimes our website updates. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. So, yeah, I could make one called Site Updates. And whenever I blog something, maybe I'm going to have a new feature um, once every two weeks. And I could blog about that and put it in that category. This also helps your SEO. This also helps you to be found on search engines because you've organized your content. And if your content is organized, the search engines like your site better <coughs> because then they can show your content to more people. If you never use categories or tags, we'll talk about tags in a moment, your content might not be found by the search engines and therefore might not show you in search results as easily. So categories are important. We can be as complicated as we want because notice we've got the option for parent. So let's say I've got cake of the month and then also I'm going to be blogging about you know um, sugar-free cakes and then good cakes or whatever organization you want. So I can make here sugar-free and put it as a this is going to be a child of the parents category cake of the month. The example here, categories unlike tags can have a hierarchy. You might have a jazz category and under that have children categories of bebop and big band and it's optional. So again, I'm going to make I'm going to blog about our sugar-free key lime pie or key lime cake. So it's going to be in the cake category but specifically in the sugar-free category. So once once you open the cake of the month, the 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 other one is going to open. Now the new one you open by cake. Of the, the one month. I just created, sugar free. Huh? Well, or they'll be related. Yes, if I make a new post and put it into sugar free, it's also part of cake of the month. Okay. But if I only put it in cake of the month, it's not necessarily part of sugar free. So thinking of categories is often useful before we, we start to post blogs. Uh, and I can show you an example over on my blog. Uh, if I look at this particular post, this theme shows it like this. Categories are like folders. And then we'll talk about tags in a moment. But this particular post has been has been saved under the comics category and the video category. 
So that means everything that is put into the video category, I can look at the video category and it will only show me posts or products that have a video. <coughs> if I go to comics category, it could show me um, posts that have a video or don't have a video because they're being put into that category and they can go into more than one category like this one here is just a picture this is my this is a shot of some of my comics A to Z every every comic from A to Z except Q I forgot to put one there but that one's got uh, that one's just a picture it's related to comics and so it's in the comics category So I might not have an idea at the beginning early on all my categories. That's okay. I can always add more categories later and use them. But if I have a little bit of an idea what I want to do, I might want to set up some categories. On my example site here, I also show, well, I've got categories and also tags. Tags are another way to organize. Categories are the larger concepts, and tags are the more refined, the more detailed concepts. This particular blog post is in the category of comics, but then specifically it's about Dark Horse Comics, Disney Comics, Marvel Comics. Uh, it has those details. So when I'm writing my blog post here on Victor's Bakery, I've got in general, okay, I'm going to be writing about cakes, but then I'm going to write about a cake and that one is one of them is chocolate another one is vanilla and so forth so it's more ways to get organized usually I don't do tags before I write a post because that's a little too specific I don't know what my tags are until I write my post like when I had this one up here and I started to look okay what is actually in this photo or what comics are these then I then I wrote the actual tags but I knew early on that it was going to be in this category. So categories are the larger organizational units, and tags are the more detailed one, but we'll write tags in a little bit. And those two together are, are our taxonomies, how we organize things. And especially when you've got a product, like this, um, this client. Anyone want to buy some really nice, expensive jewelry? Valentine's is coming up. This client here, she makes her own uh, handmade uh, jewelry, and they are in various categories. So under shop, you can say, well, I want to see the ones that are of a particular amount, you know, carrots, and then another one of a particular style, and so forth. So they're organized like this pendant. This is in the category of, of necklace or pendant. So I'm going to say, show me all pendants. Is that a rock? What's that? Is that a rock? No, it's actually all gold. It's that shape forged into, into uh, it, it's all gold, but it's made into that shape. So this is one of your clients? Yeah. We did her website and set up her e-commerce so, so she can sell products. So yeah, take out your credit card and there's a perfect uh, Valentine's present. Um, so for the shop, it's it's pretty important then to organize yourself. Right now, because maybe we're not selling anything, but when we talk about blogging, we still want to have some organization. And that's when categories and tags come in. Um, I'm not going to write any tags just yet. That comes a little bit more organically when you actually write blog posts, which we'll do in a moment. But any questions on, on uh, categories or tags at the moment?
So we've only written one blog post so far. Let's write another one, a brief one. So on the left side here, let's select Add New Post. Go ahead and click Add New. And before we, we do anything here, notice uh, you will see now on the right side, if you scroll down, Categories. This just used to be uncategorized, and a mark of a beginner is to have all of your posts in under the unorganized or uncategorized category. You want to make categories, and then they'll be available for you there on the right side. So right now I'm going to write my Cake of the Month blog post, whatever you'd like to write here, but I'm, this is going to be, you know, a chocolate birthday cake. Chocolate birthday cake will be the title up here, and I'm going to set it over here, cake of the month. I'm going to turn on that one. This one's not the sugar-free one, so I won't turn on that one. So WordPress tells you at the bottom of your page here, how many words you've written. That's how you can tell um, how much you've written. And like I said, once a month, 100 words is a good goal for blogging. I'm not going to get very detailed here. I just want to create a, a little bit of content. But, uh, uh, so my idea is that for my blog, I'm going to write the uh, cake of the uh, of the month this is the chocolate birthday cake, and just whatever uh, this classic recipe is based on grandma's. If you want to add a picture, it's, it's okay to add, you have to add. Yeah, have we talked about adding pictures before? No. No. Okay. Well, we've got right here add media. So we don't have to be very complicated. I, I just want to show you categories and one more thing about comments. Um, our blog has uh, the ability for people to write comments, and I believe I mentioned part of it last time, but I'll mention it again because this is a feature that is actually hidden by default and people always ask, I don't want people to comment on this post. It's too controversial, let's say. So you can turn that on or off up here. At the very top of, the, of this post page, you've got screen options, and I've mentioned this before, I believe. Screen options are all of these extra features that might be turned off because there's a lot we can do in WordPress. Not everything is always active. So if you turn on, if you open up the screen options, tab and then turn on here discussion that'll give you a new little box of features at the bottom right here discussion allow comments so if you don't want people to comment on this particular post you can just turn it off then you can turn it back on if you want We've got this one, allow trackbacks and pingbacks on this page. I would leave this one on because what that does is if you link this post to someone else's blog, WordPress will send a notification to that other blog so that they know that you link to them. The point of that is eventually I want other websites or other blogs to link to my website that helps my SEO. So if that other website knows that I linked to them, they might look at my website and see this it's got cool content, useful content, and they might link back to me. So if you turn that off, allow trackbacks, that won't work and it won't help you. 
So I almost always leave that one on. It's up to you if you want comments or not. I don't believe that has much of an impact on SEO. Um, but if you want people to be able to comment on your works, whatever you post here, you can turn it on or off. So I'm still writing this post. I've chosen a category. I can add as many categories as I want. Uh, that is, I can select as many as I want. Or in this screen, I can also, I thought of a new category. I can create the category at this moment as well. And then we've got tag, uh, tags. Now that I've written a blog post, I'm going to think of what are the keywords that make up this blog post. So maybe I'm going to mention grandma on several blog posts. So I'm going to add a tag there of grandma. So now that post has that category. Uh, I'm sorry, that tag. Like my example over here. As I make more blog posts, and maybe I talk about Marvel Comics, I add the tag so that when someone clicks on that Marvel tag, it would show all of the Marvel uh, posts. So that one, Howard the Duck, that one about Secret Wars, that one there, and so forth. So all the ones that had that Marvel Comics tag are linked together. And also if people search, you know, if you've got a search box, It'll, it'll show you results of those that use that, that tag. So that's for organization, and that's so that people search either on your site or outside of your site, and it helps people find your stuff. Publish that. Uh, you should find it right here. Let me go back here. Yes, when you're editing your, you, you see it when you're actually editing your post. And then you should see on the right side. So I'm going to go back to edit that post. And you'll see it on the right side somewhere. Tags. Right there. So you just add a tag and click add, and you've tagged it. And then when someone searches, in the search box that we set up. Yeah. So it depends on the theme. Mine's got a search box right there. And then if I do a search there, Marvel. It saw that Marvel was a tag, so it's showing me all, all posts with a Marvel tag. So these categories are useful to organize our posts. And if we were selling products, that's useful too. And what else we can do with categories are that we can show them in a menu. So sort of like, um, let's say you're, uh, you're on a website and you go to the sporting goods page, and then you've got a menu there that then shows you know, football equipment, um, baseball equipment, etc. Those are all categories of products. So I've got at least one category that I created. Uh, I've got three categories. And I've got one category that I've used here, Cake of the Month. Uh, that Hello World, I could also set that to a category after the fact. So you can always click Quick Edit, and that pops up so you can easily put it into categories. So I made a category of Site Updates, and I'm going to actually use that Hello World post that was there, and I will click Quick Edit, and I'll put it under Site Updates, and then Update.
So I've got these two blog posts. This one is under the site updates category, and this one's under the week of the month category. And then in a moment here, I'll show you, we can put categories into our menus, but any questions so far? All right, so let's say I want to refine my menu a little bit so that some of these categories show up there. I cannot put a post into my menus. I can put pages, like an about page, contact page, products pages, etc. But I cannot put posts into my menus. The closest is I can put categories of posts into my menu. So that's another reason why we want to organize our our, our posts. Let's go edit our menu. So we'll go to appearance and then menus. So mine shows here, this is the, the current menu that I'm editing is main menu. These are the items in my menu and it's being shown on the primary menu. On this left side it says uh, you can add pages, links, or categories. So again I've got most used, view all, and search. So if I've got 20 blog posts and I have taken the time to organize them via categories, I can then add them to my menu this way. I'm going to say show me all cake of the month posts in my menu. So I'll click add to menu. There it is. You want to remember to save your menu. And here it tells me, well, these over here are pages. This one's a category. You might have a custom link can you repeat that, please? Which part? The, uh, where, where you choose the... Category? Yeah. Well, there's a box right there, Category. And then you select it and you click Add. The most, the most yeah. Well, I would say under the View All would be better because it'll show them all to you. I, I have the most recent. No, it's the most recent. Uh -huh. So if you go over to view all, that would be better. You know, you look at view all. Did that work? Well, uh, you're looking at the see what I can show up there. You're kind of looking at pages. You want pages, you want categories. So now I'm going to save my menu and look at my front page. And now I've got my home, my blog, contact me is getting cut off, but that's because of my theme, and then cake of the month. If I click that, it's going to show me all blog posts that have that category. And in my case, there's only one. But as I, as I go on through the weeks or, or months or whatever, and I create more of those blog posts in that category, they'll show up there automatically. So that's the closest uh, how we can add posts to our menus, but posts we publish them and then they they kind of fade away to some degree because maybe you post more, you make more posts. Whereas pages are, are there all the time. You've always got that about page or contact page or whatever. If you did want to show up on your menus um, certain posts, you put them under categories and then put them into a menu. So the two WordPress related things I wanted to talk about were widgets. That opens a new world of customization. And then uh, categories and tags, which are our taxonomies. 
those are for organization. Those will become more important as we as we go on with more concepts of blogging and SEO. And um, you know, we may, we edited the menu a little bit more for practice. Uh, I'm going to show one more thing, uh, and then we'll we'll wrap up. But any uh, any questions so far on some of the stuff we've talked about?